Supermodel Heidi Klum has a real estate portfolio that's almost as stunning as her. Whether it was her $14 million mansion in Brentwood, LA, her current Bel Air mansion, or her penthouse in New York City, Heidi's pads have always been stylish. And now, you'll see for yourself. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home that we moved into earlier this year, so go and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. German supermodel Heidi Klum is the kind of entertainer who can do it all. As a businesswoman, fashion designer, producer, artist, occasional singer, actress and television host, she's tried her hand at everything Hollywood has to offer over the years. Which is probably why she's the longtime host of the variety series America's Got Talent. After becoming a household name by appearing on the covers of magazines like Vogue, Elle, Glamour, and In Style, Heidi would transition from fashion to the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, where her photos would leave a lasting impression and help her smoothly transition into her decade-long association with Victoria's Secret. In any given year, Heidi can make as much as $40 million between her producing, hosting, endorsing, and licensing deals. And when you hear a number that big, your next thought is, I've got to see the inside of her house. Well, we'll take a look at three of Heidi's unbelievable properties. The first was a home she picked up shortly before divorcing her former husband, Seal. The second is the home she secured after splitting from her ex and now is the place she shares with her new husband, Tom Collitz, in Bel Air, California. And last but not least, Heidi even has a $5.1 million penthouse she bought in New York City's Soho neighborhood a couple of years back in 2018. When it's all said and done, you'll know just how charmed Heidi's incredible life is. Hey guys, I'm Kara and today Today on Famous Entertainment, we'll check out the homes of Heidi Klum. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Back in 2010, Heidi Klum and Seal were on the cusp of their marriage coming to an end. They just hadn't realized it yet, which is probably why they spent the incredible sum of $14.2 million on this Mediterranean-style mansion located in the neighborhood of Brentwood. Soon after buying the place, Heidi hired a team of designers and architects to spend six months restoring this eight-bedroom, ten-bathroom home, which had originally been built in 1999 only to be left deserted for a number of years. During that process, Process, the team replaced every window, restained the home's woodwork, upgraded all the appliances, expanded the garden, and completely completely redesigned the primary bathroom. When it was all said and done, the home was more luxurious than ever. Situated on 8.5 acres of land, the home offers some dramatic ocean and mountain views, not to mention a truly epic 2,300 square feet of space. Stepping foot into the interior, you're immediately greeted by a double height foyer that's likely to take your breath away. A short walk from there is the formal dining room that looks as if it's a carbon copy of a private dining room from a five-star hotel in Paris, France. There is even a library that's been outfitted with glass-fronted and ebony cabinets that was once installed in the country home of Napoleon Bonaparte. A few of the other more interesting rooms in this place include a family room off the expensively and extensively refurnished kitchen, a games room, a home office, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, and a home theater with upholstered walls. One of the eight bedrooms was even redesigned for Heidi to serve as a professional grade dressing and styling room. The master suite encompasses a bedroom, a separate sitting room, private ocean terrace, dual bathrooms, and extensive fitted closets. Meanwhile, the exterior of the home is just as impressive. Not only is the Infinity Edge Pool extraordinary, but that Italian rose garden might just be the most romantic spot I've ever seen inside a celeb's home. Unfortunately, I guess it wasn't romantic enough to keep 
the spark alive between Heidi and Seal. Within four years of buying this place, those two would get divorced. And that same year, Heidi would place this home back on the market for $25 million. And while she wouldn't quite get that much, the $24 million that she secured was still $10 million more than what they paid for it a few years earlier. Soon after, Heidi would find her next home in Bel Air. After moving out of one of the most epic homes in Los Angeles, Heidi's next residence would be a slightly smaller mansion located on a whole lot less land in the guard-gated enclave of Bel Air that she bought for $9.8 million. Heidi purchased the home from an Emmy-winning writer and producer of 70s and 80s style sitcoms like The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Cosby Show, who had built this three-story red brick neo-Georgian mansion in 2000 and had been trying to sell the home for over three years at prices as high as $15 million. Secluded from the hustle and bustle of the city, this 11,600 square foot abode with six beds and nine baths sits on a 4.8 acre lot with long and and wide views that head straight over down the steep canyons and over Sherman Oaks into the San Fernando Valley. A private driveway forks its way up to the entrance of this brick home that's been covered with ivy leaves that extend all the way to the second floor. To the right, there's a bare parking lot like motor court and to the left, there's a secondary motor court on the side of the house beside a detached garage with a private one bedroom suite above. On the inside, the center hall foyer will impress any visiting guests with its traditional architecture, including chevron patterned wood floors and a sweeping floating staircase. There is also glass doors at the very back that open to a small veranda overlooking the yard. The formal living and dining rooms are large scaled with more wooden floors, fireplaces and elaborate moldings. Beyond those are more living spaces including a pair of offices and a library with yet another fireplace, French doors, and a bunch of bookcases. The home also includes a ton of family-oriented spaces where Heidi can hang out with her four kids, Helene, Johan, Henry, and Lou, such as the generous-sized family room that opens up to the backyard. Then, there's a spacious eating kitchen that's been extensively decked out with white cabinets, marble counters, and a suite of commercial stainless steel appliances that include a 48-inch range as well as wall ovens and an under-the-counter wine cooler. Listing information also reveals that the home boasts a media room with an angled ceiling and a built-in wet bar. There's even a temperature-controlled wine cellar with stone-tiled walls and floor in here. On the second floor of this mansion is where four of the ensuite bedrooms are located, including the primary suite that comes complete with a fireplace, a private deck with views of the entire San Fernando Valley, dual dressing rooms as well as his and hers bathrooms that each have a distinct look and feel. Ever since moving into this gorgeous home, Heidi has occasionally given us a glimpse of her life in here alongside her new hubby Tom Collett, like this steamy looking pic they snapped in the bathtub. As for her bedroom, Heidi hangs out in here with the rest of her family as often as possible and has decorated the space with a number of her own personal paintings. But the most impressive part is that she's turned her vast garden into something resembling a five-star wellness retreat. Not only is it fitted with a gigantic pool, but there's also a lounge area, a space for dining, a trampoline, a pizza oven, and a large playground. During a recent interview with Women's Health, Heidi provided a bit of insight into her outdoor home experiences by telling them, I jump on the trampoline in the garden at my home in LA and do body weight exercises including lots of squats. I get plenty of movement from running around after four children, two dogs, and a cat. As much as she might love this mansion in LA, it's not the only place where Heidi rests her head at night. So let's head on over to the East Coast and check out her home in New York City. In 2018, Heidi added to her real estate portfolio when she picked up something of a fixer upper, a penthouse loft in New York City's Soho neighborhood worth an estimated $5.1 million. The loft had previously been used for decades as an artist's studio and sits atop a six story Queen Anne style building that dates back to the late 1800s. As for the unit itself, it's an impressive 4,772 square feet with 10 exposed support columns lined up and down the middle of the 40 foot wide space. The ceilings are high, the windows are huge, and the floors are covered in honey-toned hardwood. And while all of that is certainly nice, Heidi's new home wasn't exactly move-in ready. Due to its previous utilization as an art studio, when Heidi bought the place, it was largely bare, except for those columns. 
But digital pictures suggest a few designated areas can easily be carved out, like a dining area, kitchen, and a lounge type space. Since she bought the place, we haven't really gotten an inside peek at how Heidi might have updated it. But my best guess is that she uses this loft as a part time pad while she's jet setting around the globe from gig to gig. So there you have it the many homes of the one and only Heidi Klum. She certainly had to give up a whole lot when she sold her former dream house with Seal, but her new mansion in Bel Air has everything you could possibly ask for. And while her Soho penthouse might not look like much, I'm sure that she used her undeniable good taste to spruce it right up. Be sure to let me know what you thought about Heidi's homes in the comments down below, and if there's someone else you want to see profile on this channel, then let me know that as well. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!